Hey YouTube, Rico Knows here. Going to keep talking to you guys about Hidden Gem for the 2024 college football season. If you didn't know, I'm doing a series where I'm pointing out one hidden gem on every single team in America. I'm going alphabetical by conference, but today I'm going to go out of order. Okay, I want to talk about Texas Tech. This morning I did about a 30 minute long deep dive into Texas Tech for the MVPs. If you don't know what that is, is I make videos on Patreon and YouTube for my members. If you pay for the premium content, it's really for the gamblers so they can learn about all the teams. And I went through every single player in the two deep on Texas Tech. And I've been doing that for every single team in America. But when I talk about Texas Tech, one thing I wanted to point out, and that's how we get to the hidden gem here, is Koi Aiken. Okay, but more importantly, uh, I believe in Texas Tech. And I believed in them for a couple years now. Unfortunately for them, offensive line looks a little shaky. But let's talk about hidden gems here. When you look at this receiver room, and I'm looking at the stats from last season, wide receiver Xavier White, gone, NFL, congratulations. He's there, he's, he's doing his best trying to make it, right? But you see Jaran Bradley, he hit the transfer portal. He just He's going to Boston College. And... Then there's Koi Aiken there. He's the third leading receiver. And I say third among yards, obviously fourth among targets. Miles Price jumped in the portal. He's at Indiana. Jordan Brown still on the team. And then shout out to Dre McCray, a young man that I truly believe in. I made a video about him last year on TikTok. And I was giving him all the praise because I believe in Dre McCray. I, I believe he's special. I, you know, once a thousand yard receiver at the FCS level, I've watched what he did against Alabama in one game. And I've just watched him over the years just be great to see him that far down the depth chart really shocked me. But it is what it is. There's some good wide receivers in the room. OK, and you got to get in where you fit in. Now, when I look at Texas Tech's depth chart, now this isn't accurate. They, they're missing some running backs. They're missing some people that I care about on the team. But more power to them. Right? They put it together as best they could according to what they saw in the spring game and things of that nature. And you see Joshua Kelly's there. Josh Kelly just transferred in, former, former uh, Fresno State wide receiver, transferred up to Washington State last year, and then transferred again. He's a stud. Known goods, great player. There's Dre McCray behind him. You see Micah Hudson over here, a five-star, the first five-star in the history of the school at third string. That's impressive to me. That tells me there's depth in front of him with some really developed players. Caleb Douglas transferring in from Florida. Oh, I think he's 6'5 now, 6'4", 6'5", wide receiver, just a stud of a player. Who started five games at Florida last year before the injury. He is an SEC caliber wide receiver at Texas Tech. Everybody's great. And then there's this guy, Koi Aiken. Nobody really knows. Nobody really talks about Koi. And I want to give a shout-out to Juice real quick, Coach Juice, Just, Justin Johnson. Uh, I did a video about him last year on TikTok once again, you know, where I was giving all this shine to certain coaches, certain recruiting efforts and things of this nature. And Justin Johnson going out there, getting Micah Hudson, getting guys like Koi, and they're identifying these players. Uh, it's no surprise, right? This is a young man that when he was a player – he was a baller. I hope the players know how good their coach is. Because back in like the late 2011 time frame, right, when Case Keenum was breaking the NCAA record for most passing statistics in a career, Justin Johnson was one of his top targets. I remember this young man playing and getting 1,200, 1,300 yards in a season, something like that. He was the second leading receiver on the team. He's a good player. And obviously, it's hard to make it in the NFL. There's some great players that never get that opportunity. But here he is in coaching. And he's doing great, and he's dominating. And when you pair him up with Zach Kidley, I don't see how we fail. Unless we lose our starting quarterback at the beginning of the year. Which is what happened to them last year. But you have Zach Kidley, and instead of giving that running back of yours 290 carries, uh, you got to air it out, bro. If you guys don't know Zach Kidley, started at Houston Baptist, went up to Western Kentucky, did his thing with Bailey, with Bailey Zappi and the Stearns brothers, and now he's back here in Texas. And I expected great things from him. I think he's one of the top offensive coordinators in America, but the results weren't quite there last year. Some things went wrong. Some, some of the rails fell off, especially that first game against Wyoming, losing in double overtime. It was hard to bounce back from that. They did at times, and then they lost at times. But still, making it to a bowl game, not quitting on the entire season. Shout out to Jordan McGuire and everything they're doing on offense. But there's one kid I got to talk about, and it's this boy, Coy, man. I went out there. I started watching tape on this man, and this can't be real. This can't be real. So the reason he wasn't one of the leading receivers on the team, like, like out of this world. The reason he didn't have 50 receptions is because he got hurt during the preseason and he missed the, the start of the season. He wasn't, he wasn't playing the whole first five or six games or so. So I didn't see him hit the depth chart and see him start hitting box scores and get on tape until later in the season. And then you saw him score a touchdown against Cal in the bowl game, right? They threw a fade to the left. 
Got his foot down. I'm trying to remember the whole play, but this is me, bro. This is what I do for a living, right? I evaluate talent. I evaluate players, and I'm looking at Koi Aiken, and I say, yo, that guy is special. My hidden gem is this guy walking around. If you didn't know, led them to uh, LBJ, right? Lyndon, Lyndon B. Johnson. Uh, they, they lost, but he led Stevensville to a state title, 16-0. Go back. The 187 game is on, I believe it was on Bally Sports. So it's somewhere on YouTube. You can go watch his 187 yards, three touchdowns. Um, but 93 receptions, 2,100 yards receiving, and 31 touchdowns. That's Michael Crabtree type numbers, bro. That is my boy Michael Crabtree from Graham Harrell type numbers. And they have an all-time great. The, the recruiting class was special. Okay, the recruiting class is special, and, and you see some of the guys in the two deep. But Coy Aiken for me is the hidden gem nobody's talking about. One of the best players in America. If you're paying attention and you're evaluating tape, I finally sat down, broke down the tape, and I go, "Yeah, man, that's my hidden gem for Texas Tech." And I get it. The recruiting websites talk about Cameron Dickey, love him to death. Um, he reached out to the channel on TikTok, and I did a film review for him last year, and I, I said, "Man, he's better than four stars." I see. He's better than a lot of the guys I see that, that are going to other schools. I like this kid's game. Yes, they talk about Michael Hudson, the five-star. Yes, they talk about Will Hammond. Uh, I think he threw for like 700 yards in a high school game last year. I also made a video about that. But you know who's not on this list right here that needs some shine? That's Jacoby Williams. And, and I hate naming two hidden gems in the same video, but Jacoby Williams uh, is a three-star. Let me, let, me, let me drag him into the screen. Three-star running back, not on the depth chart, but I went and watched tape on every single recruit that signs to every single team. I watched the huddle film for every recruit that signs. I, this is my job. I do this 12 hours a day. I'm sitting here. I'm like, yo, I got to go watch tape on this kid. <laughs> <laughs> Three stars my ass, bro. Shout out to this young man. One of the best hurdlers in America. Ran a 14, 200, 110 high hurdles. I got a lot of respect for track athletes, a former track athlete myself. I'm like, yo, this kid, put him on the field. He's gone. Somehow he's got to get in the rotation at some point, but he looks special on his tape. I know these boys over here who missed out on him. I know they're hurting, bro. I know they're hurting. Texas Tech got themselves a speed demon. Yes, he, he doesn't look like, you know, a more complete back. Like Cameron Dickey, shout out to that man. He's very, very uh, respectful, very humble, doesn't talk a whole lot, sent me one message, just kept it real cordial, professional. Could you please look at my film, sir? That kind of deal. Um, just seems kind of, and I'm going to use the R word, seems regal, right? Man, when you see speed demons like Jacoby Williams, they're not regal about this, man. He's taking your lunch money. He's blowing you out. He's just gone. Making people miss. His huddle tape is fun to watch. Go watch his huddle tape. This man is out here doing dudes dirty. Just gone. Okay? And... The only reason he's not my hidden gem is I don't know if he'll be in the two. I doubt he's in the two deep, obviously. You have seniority in the running back room, and you have others. But this kid, when I watch him, he looks smooth. Making cuts at top speed, not losing any speed. Just great balance, runs behind his pads, gets to the second level, makes the guy miss. Some of his runs, like he's stemming the, the secondary player before he gets to him to make his cut. Um, but he is also a multi-cut runner. I like this kid a lot. Played at a high level in Texas and still balled out of control. But back to the man at, at, at task here, Coy Aiken, people need to recognize, when you see other leading receivers leaving the team, they know their days are numbered on that depth chart. They know who's going to get all the targets. And it's this kid right here with the red hair. It's this kid who doesn't look like much, but he's 6'2", 210, and he's special, man. He's special. He's fighting for every ball in the air like it belongs to him. That's my hidden gem for Texas Tech. Remember, check the playlist. Go, go to, if you go to YouTube, go to the homepage. Click on the playlist, and you will see all the other hidden gems. I'm doing one on every single team. Your friends don't know, but Rico knows. Peace, y'all.